Oh, it's late. It's 930 already. I hope y'all are having a good Monday. I've been waiting on Chris to leave uh, before I could start Bible study. I had Keisha here this morning and Chris here this morning. And so it's been kind of busy at the Nichols house. Keisha spent the night last night. She left this morning to go uh, to Panama City. She's going to meet her mother and her sister in Panama City and spend a few days with them. I'm so excited she gets to go spend days, a few days with her family. Um, so she left this morning and then Chris is taking his friends over to Cumberland Island by boat today. He took them on a boat ride last night to see the dolphin after we enjoyed a wonderful Easter uh, lunch. Uh, we all took a break for a couple of hours, and then he went and picked them up and took them on a boat ride. And they got to see plenty of dolphin, he said. They took them where he always sees dolphin. And, of course, they got to see, he said, about seven to nine dolphin, and they got to see a baby one. So they were real excited. His friend's name is um, James. I call him Chase because Chris has always called him Chase as far as I remember. But anyway, it was funny because yesterday while we were eating, they were like, Chris said, call him James. I said, well, I'm sorry. I'm just His name is James Chase Wagner. <laughs> anyway, him and his wife, they're in their early 40s, have three beautiful children. They are about eight six, eight, and 11. They're all girls. They had the best time playing in the backyard yesterday. I'm sorry, I have some. They had the best time playing in the backyard yesterday. Um, they caught, each of them caught a lizard and they held on to those lizards. I'm not kidding. For a very long time, carried them around with them, put them on their head, had them on their shoulder. And the lizards done really well with them. And they all had their own pet lizard in the backyard yesterday. And they had a really good time playing. So anyway, um, it was a good day, even if I missed my May. I got to talk to her, though. And I've got my headset on today in case she calls. Um, I'm hoping she gets to come home tomorrow. I have an appointment in Brunswick tomorrow. Paige, if you're on here today or if you watch this, I have an appointment tomorrow in Brunswick. And I don't know if you'll have time to meet up with me or not, but I'm coming by myself. And it's at 9.45 in the morning. Um, so anyway, I don't know what your day's like and if you're working tomorrow or not. But anyway, um, we had a really good Easter Sunday yesterday. I didn't even watch Easter Sunday uh, service until last night about 7 o'clock, but I did enjoy it. Um, I've got a couple of prayer requests, not that many. And a lady sent me a thing, and I don't know if any of y'all's done it before. And she asked me if I'd ever done Jenny Sight, M-T-H-F-R, is when they do the... Uh, DNA test to help you choose which medicines work best for your body. If you've had that done, let me know, but I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about doing it. Um, so we're going to read over a few prayer requests. We don't have many. And um, today is April the 5th, 2021. Uh, my newsletter does not come out today for Colored Valley Cooks. I just want to give you a heads up. It's always the second Monday of the month, and this is actually the first Monday. Um, but we'll be praying for Mary Henley. She wants us to pray for her. She sent me an email. She said that she thinks she may have lymphoma. She had decided at first to keep it to herself, but her and her husband decided to ask for prayer, and I'm so glad they did. She's having a biopsy tomorrow, and she's having a PET scan Wednesday, and she is a breast cancer survivor from a few years back. So please pray for Mary. Patricia Dyer wants us to pray for her and her husband. Dolores Butler, her Aunt Lolly, is going from this life to the next with Jesus. She said as we speak, so she may already be there by now. Um, so pray for that family. Monica um, 
I, I don't know how to say your last name, but she has MS and diabetes and wants us to keep her in our prayer and also pray for her sister. Margo DeSantis has a son that's been in rehab from a drug overdose, and I do believe we've been praying for him. He now has pneumonia, and her daughter is having some heart concerns after having COVID. So both of her children need our prayers, and we'll be praying for those, Margo. Um, it's good to see everybody this morning. I did get up and curl my hair this morning with my new set of rollers. I'll turn around and let you see it. I did color it yesterday. I had time to color my hair before everybody got here because I didn't have a lot to cook. I just put that ham in the oven, put all my food in there. Chris actually bought rose rolls. He wouldn't let me do the bread. And so I had time to color my hair before our company got here yesterday. So I colored my hair. It's a little dark right now. It'll lighten up because you know how it is when you first color it. Um, I did buy a new set of rollers because I lost my Picks. I couldn't remember if I showed y'all these or not. So to, it's today's show and tell. Um, I didn't go back and look. These are Conair. I like rollers that are just regular old rollers that have the little spikes on them. I'm not crazy about the felt kind. I don't think they get hot enough to keep a good curl like these do. So um, these are, of course, on the beauty links on my website. Um, I used this morning all of the darker pink. I didn't use any of the smaller ones. So I used the, these medium around my face. And then I used all the larger ones in the back. So that's what I used this morning to curl my hair. I used to get up and roll my hair every day before high school. Believe it or not, I really did. And I even did that. I know some of y'all know the story about me getting married when I was in high school because I did. I worked on a dairy farm, and I would have to milk the cows in the morning before I went to school and got on the bus. And so I'd get up at five in the morning, I'd milk cows, we'd wash down the barn, I'd go back to the trailer, we lived in a little trailer there on the dairy farm. And I would actually curl my hair with rollers before I went to school. Believe it or not, I did that. I'm crazy, I guess. But I always wanted to fix my hair. My mama raised me that way. My girls don't even blow dry their hair. They don't fix their hair and they don't blow dry it. Amy has natural curl in her, so it doesn't matter. And May keeps hers really short. Mine's is real silky. But um, I wanted to show you all those rollers in case you need a set. All right. I hope you are having a good day. I hope that you... Um, Leave your prayer request today, and I'll write them down, add you to their prayer list. Um, and we're going to start in with Bible study. I have got to, uh, last week was a crazy week. That happened with May. The kids were moving in an apartment, and I was trying to get utilities turned on, stuff ordered for them. Um, I mean, it was Easter week. Uh, Chris has people in town. It's just been nuts. So my desk looks like a tornado went crazy in here. I was embarrassed when they came in the house the first night because I wasn't expecting them yet. And it was, it was not really straightened up. <laughs> but anyway, it's okay. It wasn't dirty. It just wasn't straightened. And so today, I am going to spend a little time by myself. And I'm going to get my desk cleaned off. Uh, some of my paperwork scanned. I scan all my paperwork with my scanner into the computer and I get rid of the paper. Um, and that's what I've been doing for years now, and I really like it that way. I keep all my stuff online. I actually keep it backed up on a on OneDrive so that if something happens to one of my computers, I still have all my paperwork. It's really nice. I just pay for OneDrive, extra storage, and that's what I do. Um, this is a top. I got me some T-shirts. Y'all know I like my Colored Valley Cooks T-shirts. But I like wearing them, but I don't like to wear them every day. This is, I got on my red breeches. This, oh, I'm sorry, I showed my belly. I got on my red breeches this morning because it's cold in the house. But anyway, these shirts um, came from Belk. Belk has Kim Rogers soft uh, T-shirts. And I got a lot of T-shirts. I like the V-neck ones, but I do buy the round ones too. It's a 2X. And I got several for summertime because they're comfortable. 
uh, it's easy to wash them and hang them up or fold them up, put them in the drawer. So um, if you've never bought their t-shirts at Belk, the Kim Rogers So Soft or whatever they're called, they're really good. I like them. They're thick enough, but they don't, they're not like paper thin. Um, and so I really like them. So this is one of the ones I got. Uh, they were on sale the other day. And so I ordered a few to wear this summer. Um, Stormy says she thought she's the only person in the world that still uses hot rollers. Nope, I still use them. You know, if I get up and I wash my hair and I use the hot rollers, uh, because lots of times, like when I put my hair up in a ponytail, um, I do use that little ponytail thing lots of times. But if I roll my hair and I put it up in one of those ponytail things, it looks just like I've got on one of those. So sometimes when you see me and you think I've got on a headpiece, I don't always have on a headpiece. Sometimes it's my real hair, and sometimes it's a headpiece. It's just according how much time I have got. Uh, and I don't wash my hair often. I'll just be honest with you. I remember one time I told y'all that some a couple of women said, I wash my hair every day, and I was thinking, well, good for you, <laughs> because I know it's too much trouble. I wash my hair about every four days. Uh, my hair is very dry. It don't get oily at all. I don't sweat. I don't get out and work. So it don't get dirty. So anyway, I don't wash my hair all the time. But if I get up, if I do wash it and I hot roll it, then it looks pretty for days because mine holds the curl. And I don't have to get up and fix it over and over. Um, and I look good all day. I just brush it and go. But anyway, enough about that. I've been, I always talk longer on Mondays because I haven't seen y'all it's just been one day, but I always like to talk longer. Y'all are not going to believe what I've seen. I think I told y'all while I was cooking, if you watched the cooking video Saturday, we, when I went out that Friday, I could not believe it. I saw, I think, three new birds in one day. Um, and I know most of the birds now have laid their eggs. So most of the ones coming to the bird feeders right now are the men birds the beautiful ones but some of the females are still coming and i saw a goldfinch that was absolutely beautiful yellow and i told y'all that last week but i saw a painted bunting if you don't know what that is he has uh he's not everywhere so you don't see him unless you're in certain areas of the of the north in in north america but he is native a native bird and breeds here. He's the most beautiful bird in North America. He has a blue head, a red breast, a he has green and yellow wings. He is the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. And I was so super excited. And Chris was on the telephone and I came in and I said, you've got to come out here and look at this. But I got him on video. So I can't wait to make the ne next bird video for you guys. Maybe I'll work on that today too while I'm by myself. Um, but I saw some new birds. One was a solid brown. One was the painted bunting. Um, uh, and then a couple of more. I don't even know what they are. I've got to look them up. I hope y'all are having a good Monday. Susan says she's expecting three great grandchildren next fall. Two are twins. Wow. That's amazing. I hope I live to see my grandchildren, much less my great grandchildren. You are super blessed. Uh, cause I had mine so late. Um, all right, let's get into Bible study this morning. We're going to be, I've got the link to the hair rollers. If y'all want them at the top of the post today, um, we we're doing Charles Spurgeon's Bible reading morning reading for April the 5th. Um, this comes out of the book of Luke chapter 23, verse 26. And excuse me, I had to clear my voice a second let me go zoom in a little like i always do it says um on him they laid the cross that he might bear it after jesus and we're talking about uh simon bearing the cross it says we see in simon's carrying the cross a picture of the work of the church throughout all generations she is the cross bearer after Jesus, 
Mark then Christian, Jesus does not suffer to exclude your suffering. He bears a cross, not that you may escape it, but that you may endure it. Jesus exempts you from sin, praise the Lord for that, but not from sorrow. Remember that and expect to suffer. And we've talked about this before and how we should call, uh, say that suffering is a blessing and not just think of it as a curse. But let us comfort ourselves with this thought that in our case, as in Simon's, it is not our cross, but Christ's cross, which we carry. When you are abused for your religion, when your religion brings the trial of cruel mocking upon you, then remember it is not your cross, it is Christ's cross. And how delightful is it to carry the cross of our Lord Jesus. Some of you actually may even have family members that might mock you for your religion or, you know, call you a holy roller or a Bible thumper and think that you're crazy because you put the Lord first and talk about him about in everything. But remember that uh, that's OK, because this says that when you're mocked, um, it's Christ. It's his cross that they're mocking, and um, it's delightful that we get to carry the cross of our Lord Jesus. You carry the cross after him. You have blessed company. Your path is marked with the footprints of your Lord. The mark of his blood-red shoulder is upon that, that heavy burden. Tis his cross, and he goes before you as a shepherd goes before his sheep. Take your cross daily. Take up your cross daily and follow him. Um, do not forget also that you bear this cross in partnership. It is the opinion of some that Simon only carried one end of the cross and not the whole of it. That is very possible. Christ may have carried the heavier part against the traverse beam and Simon may have borne the lighter end. Certainly it is so with you. You do, but carry the light end of the cross. Christ bore the heavier end. And remember, though Simon had the, to bear the cross for a very little while, it gave him lasting honor. Even so, the cross we carry is only for a little while at most, and then we shall receive the crown, the glory. Surely, we should love the cross and instead of shrinking from it, count it very dear. When it works out for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. So it's a beautiful picture of how Jesus bore that cross of sin, but he didn't bear it all in the end. Simon helped him and only may have only cared a little bit of it and we are to understand that we too will suffer um, of course not even close to the way that jesus suffered but we should be honored as we go through sufferings and trials in our life and put the lord first and praise him because he's molding us into something that we can be used for later um, remember um, I was reading the email this morning and thinking when she was talking from Mary and how she had thought about not telling anybody, not even her family, about what her and her husband was going through, um, thinking that her uh, she may have lymphoma. And they were just going to keep it to themselves and pray themselves. And um, what a blessing it is that she shared it with us. And I told her that we should all share our burdens with each other because, you know, we are gifted and so blessed to be able to pray. And go, it goes straight to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and be able to pray for each other and bear each other's burdens along with Christ. Of course, we're to give our burdens to him. 
but we should share in the load. So we help take some of that load from each other when we pray. And so, Mary, we are thankful that you did share your burden with us, and we will be praying for you. Uh, prayer is such a blessing in a way that we can share each other's burdens and help each other with our loads. And many of us have heavier loads than others. And so um, that's another way to look at this lesson as well and apply it in our lives. I was thinking of that when I read the lesson today about the email that I had uh, read this morning. Um, so I hope that you guys will continue to pray for each other, continue to think about our lovely Savior and how he's risen and he's alive and how we can give our burdens to him, praise the Lord, and praise the Lord for sending his only son to die on that cross and shed his beautiful, precious blood just so that we could have eternal life. What a gift. What a gift and what a blessing and what a celebration this time of year to be able to claim the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's so beautiful. Um, so we'll be praying for each other, lifting each other up. And um, I hope that you've enjoyed being with Real Southern Woman this morning. I so love the friendship we have on here. And I'm so happy that you guys enjoyed the trip to the store, even if it took me a while to get it on there for you. Um, I enjoy being able to take my camera out and, and film for you guys and take you places because I know many of you can't go. Um, sometimes I just need to get out of the house. And uh, that was one day I did. I said, Chris, do you mind just going with me? I said, you don't have to, but would you please just go with me? to the store just to get away. And he said, sure, I, I would love to. And so he did. And uh, even on days that he can't go like today, I don't know, I just feel the urge to get out today. And maybe I will, or maybe I'll stay here and get some stuff done for a change, who knows. But um, either way, we'll be, um, I'll share it with you if I do go somewhere. Um, Y'all keep me in your prayers too. Um, She's doing pretty good. I got to talk to her yesterday. She said they had a wonderful lunch. They even had carrot cake. And um, it was a good holiday meal, and she was thankful for it. Uh, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we just pray, Lord, that you would be with each and every one of us and help us love on each other and hold us up as um, with your Holy Spirit. I pray that you'd give us strength and, and love and encouragement as we go throughout this new week. Um, keep us reminded of that wonderful gift that you've given us of eternal life through your son um, and and be with us as we go throughout each day and help us to see the love that you have given us see your creation as we um, can go outside and look upon it and know that your hand is in our lives just as it was when you created the world be with us as we um, support each other, love on each other, and help us carry each other's burdens as we um, go throughout our our day and week this week. Help us pray for each other to be able to do that. May you, of course, carry the heavier load, and, and um, may we uh, be able to give that to you so that we don't bear it all, uh, but what a blessing we have to help each other as well. Um, just be with us as we go throughout today. Be with these that are on our prayer list and all the ones in the past that still need prayer. Um, I pray that you would be with them and their families and their friends and their loved ones as well. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed, marvelous Monday. I love you. And thanks for joining us at Real Southern Woman, where we love God and we're not ashamed to say it. Love you. Bye.